There are lots of theology texts, but every once in a while you come across a book like this. It's called The Treasury of Bible Doctrine, published by Precious Seed Publications, editors uh, John Heading and Cyril Hawking. And uh, this is a different style of book. It's given to us as a whole series of uh, 96 short papers on various doctrinal subjects. But as you read it, you discover that uh, these men who are writing it don't simply have information about God. They have experience with God. It breathes a devotional a spirit to sometimes what can be very dry theology. If I were going away preaching somewhere and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to take up, if I wanted to take a, a resource along with my Bible, very often I would pack this book because it's so rich and it's uh, concentrated so that you can read a chapter and use it in your own study throughout the scriptures. And so is the case with this chapter, which I deeply appreciated, written by R. J. K. Jeffrey. It's called Paul's Seven Men. And uh, he explains that the Apostle Paul, in his letters, uh, focused on seven distinct men to help us understand biblical anthropology. What does God think about the human race? And uh, first of all, we have the first man, Adam, and then the second man, Christ, who's also called the last Adam. These are the heads of the two creations. And so, in a sense... Uh, every man comes under the heading of Adam, but then some are transferred by birth, by new birth, into this new creation. And then he talks about the old man and the new man. The old man is what I was B.C., before Christ. And the new man is what I am now that I have received the Lord Jesus. And again, in a very short paragraph or two, he explains each of these for us. The last three are the natural man, the carnal man, and the spiritual man. And these are descriptions of our personal experience, our behavior based on whether, as the natural man, he has no other options. He only has his own nature to deal with. Man at his worst or man at his best but man without God just the same. The carnal man and the spiritual man describe believers, the one who is still living in the energy of the flesh and the other who is walking in the spirit. Now the carnal man, says the apostle, has the spirit of Christ, but is not following the spirit. He is not moving with the spirit. And so these seven descriptors, these seven categories, describe for us God's view of man. And in a matter of three or four pages, we have an introduction to some basic ideas, one of the main threads that goes all the way through the Bible, because God is a people person. And when we follow through the scripture, it's good to have a clear definition of each of these uh, subdivisions, so that as we read the scripture, these things will come clearly to mind and we'll make the distinctions that God makes when he's talking about the human race. So again, I highly encourage you to get a hold of this book and to enjoy it. You can read it in small sections because each chapter is independent. You can lay it down for a bit, pick it up again, and continue to enjoy the rich ministry that's found in this book, The Treasury of Bible Doctrine. Hope you find it helpful, and thanks for listening.